Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft Project Ozone 2. I am the Alchemical Rabbit, and this wall is incomplete. What? What wall? This one right here. What? Look. Because of that dirt? Well, that's your fault. That dirt and that cobblestone. Yeah, it's your fault. Okay, I fixed that one. Okay. It's because you came in here and wrecked there you things. Go. Thanks. That, that looks better. Okay. This is Atoli. Hello. Atoli, what have you been up to? Uh, I am very close to finishing Magical Plants. Are you? Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, yes, we have gotten ourselves a new Lucky D20. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Uh, now, I'm trying to remember what all was done since last time. Um, the one thing that I can remember... The skins on the chance cubes changed. Oh, really? Yeah. I think they're presents. Oh, yeah. Probably for the holidays. Oh, yeah, probably. It's December when we're recording this. Yes. Yes, so what I have done since last time, because uh, it has been a, a week or two since we actually recorded, mm -hmm. is that I went ahead and I expanded out the drawer system that you can see here. So we now have enough drawers to go ahead and, and take in all of the loose dust and such that's coming through. You can see that the system has been automated up into two compacting drawers now uh, that feed up into here. Now, this isn't the most efficient, because you'll notice, taking a look at the numbers there, that we have a lot of stuff that is not being compressed at this moment, because if anything comes through in, in small groups, which mm -hmm. I'm not super fond of, but I figure we can recompress them later with some other kind of automation. I just need to build a lot more compacting drawers for it. Probably. Like, I need one for basically every type. Uh-huh. Like, every type of dust and whatnot. Right. Uh, but for the time being, these will go ahead and hold a lot of things. Yes. Now, taking a look at these, I've done a few stack upgrades on some of this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the stack limit on all of these that have the obsidian on them will hold up to 56 stacks. That is a lot. Of each of the dusts. So we get a whole lot. You'll see in the little corner there, that's a void symbol. So these have void upgrades. So what will happen is if we hit 56 stacks of, say, powdered copper ore, then it'll just void it. Cool. Which is not the best, but it it'll work. Yes. Yes. Uh, I agree. In, in addition to that, uh, did I show the power system last time? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> yes. Well, so we went ahead, and in case I didn't cover real quick, we put all the solar panels up here. Those solar panels are feeding into the power uh, hardened energy cells here and going downstairs to uh, feed the... Uh, I want to call them macerators, but that's not right. The pulverizers. Right. So, in essence, it's okay if we're voiding stuff. Yep. Totally. Mm -hmm. Because absolutely everything is infinite. Cool. Yeah, so cobble is coming out of the cobble gen, going into the pulverizer, which is making all the stuff that we need. Um, the power is unlimited because it's coming out of solar. So, literally, we just have free stuff. Nice. Yes. Now, on top of all that, uh huh, I have invented a milker. You have. Yes. Now there may actually be a block for this, but I don't know about it yet. So, uh, I believe last time we showed off how I love how all the cows were watching you. Uh, the chickens have been multiplying. They have, and one has gotten into this cow pen. I think. Yeah, it happens. Uh, so taking a look over here at our cobalt cow. Yes, which I do think we got off camera. Did we get these all off camera? I thought we recorded since then. Uh, I don't remember. This is why I should really check what our last recording was. <laughs> but anyway, so as you can see, we have the cobalt, ca cobalt cow sitting right here. I have a cold, so if I sound a little off. This is all being powered by a, a basic solar panel. Yes. We have an autonomous activator with a bucket. It is set to just go ahead and right-click pretty much ad nauseum. Mm -hmm. Then coming out the... Let's see, out of the top, we have a servo set to only take molten cobalt buckets out of here. Yes. So this will not take an empty bucket. As soon as it takes it out, it puts it into this Atomus activator, mm -hmm. which is facing upward, mm -hmm. which is constantly right-clicking. And what it'll do is, because there's this fluid tank on top, which, by the way, this fluid tank holds 140 buckets. 
That's a lot. 140 buckets for... This is the recipe. Four iron and four redstone. That seems a little crazy. It is, but as we are slowly learning in this mod pack, some things seem overpowered. A little bit, yeah. But that's because some things are very expensive. Yes. So it dumps the basic, uh, the cobalt into here. This has a servo that only takes buckets, so as soon as it's emptied, it goes back into here, and it awaits for the next cow to be available. The good thing about this is because you can see it's only too wide, I should be able to set up um, one of these milkers on every single cow variant. Cool. Yes, and what I could do to automate this further is change out the basic fluid tank on top mm -hmm. so that it's an ender fluid tank and that can go directly to the um, to the smeltery. Oh, cool. And we and, can just get straight metals yeah, out of it. Nice. Yeah, basically, we could milk a cow and toss it straight into the smeltery. Cool. So, while you continue to work on your plants... Oh, well, I want to show off what I've kind of started to work on. Oh, okay, upstairs? Yes. Cool. Yeah, well, kind of. I could, I could easily put where this basic fluid tank is, it'll pump in, and then we can get basic cobalt. So if we head back out outside, I was going to say outstairs, we can see that you have food. I do. We and... prob probably have more than enough food for the rest of the series. Yes. So I have this up here with the farm and everything, and yes. I've got my fancy... Uh, lily pads i don't know if they're doing anything but hopefully they are they make they make cool sounds oh no uh, no that's the ether fair enough um but below this which i don't have an actual easy way to get to quite yet uh-huh um is going to be the kitchen the kitchen you say yes because i built this, a little room what might this kitchen be for making food is that right yep okay so if you come out here oh there is another room out here yep and then off to the side, I'm going to put a storage area that is strictly for seeds and foods. Sounds good. I have got to figure out what is affecting our frame rate. I th think it's the water wheels. You think so? I don't know. Maybe. Because the water wheels are currently over there. I'm getting 44 FPS. If I look this way, it does go up. Let's triangulate this. <laughs> All right. I look out this way. It's 70-ish. Turn back towards the base. Give it a moment to reset. Well, whatever it is, it is definitely in the base. Hmm. If I turn towards the water wheels, it's not worse, though. Oh, really? Yeah, if I look down, it seems to dip. Huh, that's weird. So, I wonder... I wonder if there's, like, entities beneath the base causing problems. I mean, there are entities below the base. I can see them in my yeah. little shop. Could it be the end? Could it be the portals? Uh... Probably. Let me try turning this off. I think I can set this to... If I do that... Alright, I'm going to cut the power to downstairs. Okay. And I'm going to see if that... Um, if that changes the situation. Okay. Like, maybe somehow the automatic sieves are causing the problem. Oh, maybe. Or the drawers. Maybe. Because I'm wondering if each one of these icons mm -hmm. is an entity. Oh. Because, you know, you could see, like, that blaze powder is animating. Yeah. That makes me think these all might be entities. Oh, and that might be causing it? Yeah, like, if I look here... I'm getting a lot of entities when I look at it. Hmm. The drawers might be the cause. Oh. Well, that sucks. But we're, we'll we'll continue to find out. Yes. If I look this way, frame rate 40s, 50s, 50. I look this way. No, not really a big difference. So okay, probably well, not that. And now that I've turned off the macerate or the pulverizers, I'm actually... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to leave it off for a little bit okay. and just see what happens. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know about you, Atoli, mm -hmm. but I am bored of walking around the... <sighs> Atoli, what? you've really got to be careful with your crops. What? Because you keep throwing things through the portal. Well, that's not my fault. As I was saying, I am tired of walking around. Oh, okay. Well, um, what do you plan to do about it? 
So I think what we need to do mm -hmm. is set up a new transport network in the base. Okay. So I have been doing some study of the viaducts. Oh, okay. And I'm going to test to see if what I have learned is correct. Sweet. So if you want to come outside, we can test this. Okay. All right. We have a small scale viaduct network here. I uh, don't think it needs any power. Excuse me. Excuse uh -huh. me. Excuse me. There we have an opening. We had to use the wrench. Oh. <gasps> All right. I, it's unnamed. All right. Go ahead and click unnamed. Wee! Wee! Oh my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You try it. We Okay, you stand <laughs> on one end and I'll do the other one. Let's see what happens if we run into each other. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We can actually just go through each other. I that's... was really worried we were going to die. <laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't. Okay, so now knowing this, I think I need to start doing some alterations to the base. Okay. All right. The Blood Moon, of course, is rising. Nice. All right, so first things first, which will make Atoli very happy, I am going to destroy the um, the ladder. My god. So that that part of the base will finally be gone. Okay, cool. Because I know how much you hate ladders. Those ones aren't actually so bad as the other ones. Oh, the rope ladders? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the ether while you're doing this and just get those cloud samples. Please be careful. I would I rather wait until we have flight. Okay, fine. But oh if... my god, that portal is loud. Is it? Yeah. I'm very... Oh god. Are you okay? Yep, that was uh, a little different than I was expecting. Oh. Alright, what if... Can I still open that? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. Oops. Help! What oh, happened? I'm trapped in the viaduct! Really? <laughs> yeah. Are you out? I yeah I can get out. Okay. Huh, that's how, funny. How did you get trapped? Uh, magic. Oh. Okay, so we do that. And then if we do that, and what we will do is I think I can now configure this to be bunker. So we'll use we'll take bunker and we will for an icon use a patterned ore dust. Okay. Just because that seems symbolic of what's going on down here. Indeed. All right. I will then... I need to use your fancy portal to get back upstairs. Huh, got another fuel efficiency upgrade. Do you want this somewhere? Uh, you can put it up in the storage chests. Okay. All right, and this one will be called Main Hall. Okay. Okay. I want to go to the bunker. I'm in the bunker. Excellent. Come here and try it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Where am I going? Uh, there's only one choice right now, so... Yeah, be careful with the uber sword. Oop. That's a chisel. Main hall. Whee! Nice. How is, how is that? That is excellent. Great. I like it. Okay. So, the next thing I am going to do is probably be very silly with this. Oh, yeah? Yes. In what way? I gotta figure out how to get it to the storage room. Oh, okay. I don't know. I need to figure out how, like, ridiculous I want to be with these things everywhere. <laughs> how lazy will we be to get places? <laughs> Can I make it so that we eventually never have to move ever again? <laughs> probably. Yeah, so I'll take this... And then I think I could do like so. Okay, we'll do that. You picking up my blocks? I did. Is you that said, okay? You said you could pick up my blocks. I did. How dare you? I dare. Tisk. Okay, we just got to do a little bit of a... Uh... Unfortunately, I was going to use those to repair some of the stuff I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I can bring them back to you. I just... They were on the floor, so... Well, yes, I was going to pick them up. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I'm going to take these, like this. Okay. 
Okay, that's all right. And then we're going to run them under the floor, under this power cabling. That, that's got to be safe. Yeah, clearly. I, mean, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang. Like so. And let's go ahead and make them eye level, just because it's better looking. Okay. Okay, we put that there. Uh, got a random entity down there. It'll despawn eventually. Sorry, I am way too into the thought of, of this system. I know you are. I, I'm sorry you're not into it. Oh, no, I'm very excited. And then we'll call this one Smeltery. Hopefully I'm actually spelling that correctly. All right, we go to the main hall. Okay. I'm in the main hall. I want to go to the Smeltery. I'm at the Smeltery. Excellent. I am I am getting excited. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm getting very excited. Uh, we'll take obsidian ingot. We'll just use... Actually, no. Let's not use that. Um, I, I just... I want to use icons that are good for each other. We'll use the ingot cast. Okay. There we go. That there. Oh, yes. I also put a chest on this igneous extruder. Okay, and it's cool. working exceptionally well. Good. I like when things work. Yes. Yeah, the lava generators are still here just to supply backup power to the entire network. Uh huh. Um, although we should continue to run primarily off of the um, solar panels. Okay. All right. So I need one of you. Go there. All right. There we go. It's hidden enough. Excellent. Yeah, we'll eventually fix that if this room can stop burning down. <laughs> All right, go down to the bunker. Yeah, there's long-range ones, too. Like, I don't know if these things have a range, like a, a maximum. Oh, really? Well, yeah, because there's viaducts, long-range linking viaducts, and uh -huh. long-range viaducts. Okay. I think the long-range viaducts can only go between two different locations. Like, they can't have, like, weird connections. Okay. Sort of like what I have going on here. All uh -huh. right, we have that done. Now, where else do I want to go? We definitely need to come out to here, methinks. Where is out to here? Uh, I'm coming out to the uh, Batania area. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that'll probably be good. Yes. So let me see. If I'm going to put one there, probably need to run it and destroy all of my construction. Oh no. Yeah, it happens. Hello, chance cube. <laughs> Always scares me. Every time. Uh, it's fine. You say fine. And I, I mean, say going to kill us all. It's not going to kill us all. Yeah, you say that. And I and mean I it. I do this. Let's see. Don't go through the tube right now. Okay, I'm. I'm not. I'm building. Okay. We will connect there. You know, on one hand, I'm a little sad because I'm destroying part of the base. Uh-huh. On the other hand, it's cool because it's tubing. It's true. And for whatever reason, I really like tubing running through a base. <laughs> it's true, even since, like, Tech It. Oh, yes. I mean, really, who doesn't? I don't know. Okay, so what we could do is do... Something like this will annoy it totally. Okay. What's gonna annoy me? Nothing. Uh, so we did that. We're gonna need to come through this wall, methinks. Okay, that's where that is. That's okay. This is basically a utility closet. Cool. And then there. Okay, that looks good. I'm just waiting to see, like, all these tubes just start popping outside of the building. <laughs> uh, I, I am planning on doing some of that. You are you are not entirely wrong. I know. Um, let's see, how can I make this a little prettier? It'd be cool if you could color code them. You might be able to. It's not like I 
know everything about this yet. That's true. Yes. I'm glad we actually figured out how to use them. And by figured out, I mean I watched the Yogg's Cast episode where that where Duncan figured it out. Okay, well, fine. Sh yo, shout out to shout out to Dunk. Yes. The Yogg's Cast member with the best hair. He has the best hair. What? I think Kim has the best hair. Well, okay, fair enough. But she's leaving YouTube. She is. All right. So Botania. I don't have a good symbol for that right now. Um, just like pick up a pure daisy or something. Oh my god, that is so fun. <laughs> I'm glad. Like, where are you? I'm outside. Oh, okay. Oh, are you in the kitchen? Uh, I'm in the building. I'm building next to the kitchen. Ah, well, obviously you need some piping to the kitchen. Clearly. So let's see what we can do about that. Okay. Do 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 do. Once again, the entire point of this... Oh, yes, you are building a new thing, aren't you? Yeah, I told you I was going to put a storage room next to it. Okay. So what I could probably do... I'm going to probably punch a hole. Okay. Through your glass. Through I my glass? Did it. <sighs> I'm not sorry. I know you're not. Hey, where's all our cobble? Our cobble? Yeah. Uh, We have a lot of cobble down the cobble gens. How do I get down there now? You... Ah. Well, you, there's two options. Okay. Bunker. Got it. I will follow her. Okay. Cobble gen's down here, right? Where is it? Uh, it's... Oh, did I cover... Oh, it's oh, up here. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. I should... Put, fine. Put another cobble somewhere. Sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. I could also hook one of these drawers Oop. up to cobble. Nope. Get... Give me those. Just saying. Uh, you probably could. It's fine. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do... That's going to take forever. Ow. Main hall. Oh, is... Okay, I see what's happening. Are we running into something? Uh, yes, I can fix it, though. So instead... Punch that out. Uh, do you have any wood on you? Uh... That's fine. We're right next to the room that has it. I, I mean, I do. It's just chiseled. That's so fine. I, don't know I, I have what I need. Okay. I just need to put a flooring in. So we put that there. It seems that it the um, the system yeah more wants to be on the bottom than above. Okay. So where wherever the hole is, uh -huh. that's where your feet come out. Okay. So I need to call this one the main hall again because I removed it. Like so. Okay, we're in main hall, bunker, smeltery. Okay. Go ahead and come over here. And we're going to punch a hole through this. And then we will do this. What? I'm just laughing. What are you laughing at? At our con at your construction. I like my construction. I know. I do. I, I just think it's funny that it's these. We're going to just have these tubes like running up against everything. Dude, it's going to be so cool. I know. What's really funny is this stuff is actually relatively expensive. Really? Uh, yeah, actually. Oh. Like, these tubes are not cheap. Fair enough. Well, we keep getting them out of things, so... Yeah, we actually have quite a bit of them, so I'm not too worried about it. Right. So we'll do that, and then we will call this... The Kitchen. And, of course, toast will be the symbol. Of course. Oh, whoop. Whoa, you okay? Yeah, I just went up a little higher than I want to. Okay, careful. All right, so from the kitchen, we can go to Batania. Cool. We can go to the bunker. Cool. I hurt myself somehow there. Oh, careful. Uh, we can go to the main hall. Cool. Yep, no more damage. That's good. Smeltery. Okay, since this actually wants to be one lower... Yeah, so I just need to keep that in mind when building this. Which is a pity. I kind of like them being at eye level, but... Oh, yeah. This, well, li this limits the chance of hurting ourselves. That's true. Alright, smeltery is in place. Ooh, and go don't back throw to the that. kitchen. I prefer this so much to the teleport. 
Which teleport? Uh, waypoints. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay, is there anywhere else that we really needed to go right now? Um... Oh, yeah. probably the cows in the power room. All right, folks, you know, I'm going to work on that off screen a little bit. If you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give the video a like and do subscribe if you are new. Until next time, I am the Alchemical Rabbit. And this is Benatoli. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.